Ladies and gentlemen, to the participating researchers, panel of reactors, and guests, good morning, praise be Jesus and Mary. I am Amy M. Fuentes, together with Ms. Gian Rose Bacolanta. Before we proceed, we would like to extend our heartfelt gratitude to our research advisor, Mr. Jason S. Digamon, for being with us as we finish our final paper. Entertainment industry focuses on creating content to and for the people, especially the Korean pop stars and Korean dramas. The rise of the K-pop groups and K-dramas not just entertain the people, but it was discovered that it can also help the students or the viewers in learning and understanding the culture, lifestyle, and language. For that reason, we the researchers have come up with a study entitled Perceived Effects of Caption Korean Dramas on Learners' English Vocabulary. This paper, therefore, seeks to determine the perceived effect of captioned Korean dramas on learners' English vocabulary. It also looks into the intrinsic and extrinsic motivation of the learners whether the leisure activity of watching Korean dramas with English subtitles can motivate learners to improve their English vocabulary skills. The increasing rate of Korean drama fandom has become unforeseen popularity throughout the years, and Korean dramas have been a staple of Philippine television since 2003. As a result, it is evident that most Filipinos, particularly the youth, are addicted to watching Korean dramas. Thus, to reach a wider audience, most of the web pages released series with English language subtitles. Thus, several pieces of literature propounded the benefits of watching Korean dramas that help students perform significantly better on the vocabulary achievement test, with their scores increasing significantly, according to Saburi of 2015. It was also believed that using English subtitles improves students' command of the English language, as cited by Noviente et al. of 2018. Undeniably, though, it was found that students were inspired to learn vocabulary because Korean dramas offered an exciting storyline, editing effect, and scene or settings, according to Renexo et al. of 2021. This study is anchored in the following theories. First, the Cognitive Theory of Multimedia Learning by Mayer of 2009. The second one is the Constructivist Learning Theory by Piaget of 1972. And the last one is the Cultural Proximity Theory by Straubhar of 2003, which is rooted in one of its elements, which is language proximity. Mayer of 2009 indicated that multimedia learning theory supports the use of media as an instructional support in foreign language learning. Words and pictures help people to learn more effectively than words alone. This multimedia learning concept proposes that humans possess different systems for processing verbal and visual information. Information conveyed through two separate channels, either verbal and visual, is prepared and organized to assist learners in comprehending and retaining the information. Thus, they integrate it with their prior knowledge and encounters. Another speculation that gives a foundation to media utilization in language learning is the constructivist learning theory. The fundamental thought of the constructivism theory is that learners build their knowledge rather than depending on the teacher's input. Vocabulary acquisition through popular culture media occurs typically beyond the classroom. And thus, the classroom and the message of multimedia are commonly constructed rather than predetermined. As constructivists argue, knowledge is dynamic and accessible at any time and from any location. And language learning occurs informally and incidentally due to this characteristic 
of acquiring knowledge. Moreover, according to Strobhar of 2008, language is an essential component in cultural proximity theory. Why? Because it facilitates the message you want to convey to the viewers. And the use of subtitles and the ease of interpretation aided the sender in creating a better understanding of the actual message among the viewers. Indeed, all the theories, concept, generalization from the studies accounted for in the framework discussion clarify the pathway of this research study. Hence, the framework of the study ensures that investigation is not vague by including irrelevant thoughts. Moving on, this study determined the perceived effect of captioned Korean dramas on learners' English vocabulary. It also sought to answer the following questions. First, what are the emerging themes of watching Korean dramas in improving English vocabulary? And second, what are the perceived effects of watching Korean dramas in improving English vocabulary? The study utilized a phenomenological qualitative research design. It is qualitative as it explores, describes, and analyzes the lived experiences, interests, and concerns according to Presswell of 2007. Semi-structured interviews serve as the instrument to gather data. The study was conducted through selected participants from different schools in Hingol City during the academic year 2021 to 2022. The study participants were the selected students from the different schools in Hingoog City. The researcher employed purposive sampling of the student participants who have a great interest in watching Korean dramas. They were identified based on the data in the preliminary survey through Google Forms. These five participants answered the semi-structured interview questions and a virtual interview. These student participants have been a fan for quite some time who idolize both actors and exquisite styles of Korean dramas. The data gathering employed the semi-structured interview. The research instrument consisted of two parts. The first part is the preliminary survey that was used to select the five most valid participants who will answer the latter part of the interview. The second part is the interview guide questions. These are open-ended questions answered verbally by the student participants on the perceived effects of watching Korean dramas and improving English vocabulary. The formulated semi-structured interview guide underwent validation by research experts. The data on the study of the perceived effect of watching Korean dramas and improving English vocabulary all the selected student participants underwent analysis based on the semi-structured interview results. The study employed narrative analysis in exploring and analyzing the perceived effect of watching caption Korean dramas on improving English vocabulary. To answer the problem, the matrices show the perceived effect of captioned Korean dramas on learners' English vocabulary based on students' learning experiences with one grand theme, which is improve viewers' language learning and vocabulary. This grand theme has cluster themes, namely embraced self-satisfaction and fulfillment and improved language learning experiences. Cluster theme number one is embraced self-satisfaction and fulfillment. The success of watching captioned Korean drama is rewarding since one finds self-satisfaction in its output. It gave a sense of relaxation to the viewers from the burden of work. Storylines instill a lot of life lessons and provide an advantage to students who took up Korean language in their foreign language class. The uniqueness of Korean dramas help them discover their inner selves to be self-rewarding and satisfying. Moreover, they felt great fulfillment upon learning new languages 
that are beneficial in taking up foreign language classes. Cluster Team 2 is acquired language learning experiences. Captioned Korean dramas enable viewers to develop greater autonomy in language learning. Participants 2 and 3 directly imply that through the long years of watching captioned Korean dramas, they improved their communication skills, developed writing skills, and effectively used their newly learned words in their respective classes. In like manner, watching Korean dramas had proven the positive outcomes of learners' language acquisition and learning. Looking at the participants' responses, the following are the general statements. First, yielded positive influence of the learner's encouragement to watch captioned Korean dramas not just for better understanding of the story, but also explicitly learn English translations of Korean words used. Second, encouraged to learn vocabulary because of Korean drama's interesting storyline, editing effect, and scene or setting. Third, provide an advantage to students who took up Korean language in their foreign language class. Fourth statement, caption Korean dramas enable viewers to develop greater autonomy in language learning. Fifth, indicate that watching captioned Korean dramas is a valuable fascination for learners to undertake. And sixth, Inspired to watch Korean dramas and learn a new language and to know their lifestyle and culture. Pedagogically, the findings of the study imply that students' hobbies can be used to learn vocabulary. As a result, we can conclude that learning a language through something that students enjoy can boost their motivation and deepen their vocabulary learning. Furthermore, the research suggested additional research to broaden the scope of the subtitling issue by looking into the use of subtitles to improve reading skills. Based on the findings and conclusions of the study, the researchers recommend that language teachers further innovate their language strategies using other contemporary media sources to ignite more the intrinsic and extrinsic motivations of learners in learning English vocabulary. Moreover, to the future researchers to make or follow up research with respect to the use of caption series on improving learners' vocabulary, as well as broaden the scope of subtitling usage by looking into the use of subtitles to improve reading skills. And lastly, here are the following major references of our study. We have a study from Inexo et al. of 2021 entitled Improving Vocabulary While Watching Korean Dramas, a case of Indonesian EFL University students. We also have a study from Saburi et al. of 2015 entitled The Impact of Watching English Subtitled Movies in Vocabulary Learning in Different Genders of Iranian EFL Learners. And lastly, we have a study from Noviante et al. of 2018 entitled K-Poppers and K-Drama Lovers English Vocabulary Mastery. That would be all and thank you everyone for listening.